Shall we appreciate her? Mibilela Ekuba Munzuku Uti Karatela Shawona. Kukar Kukarateka Kasikurunwana Rungwanyana Kuringene Rona Amen. Pray for the wit. Ay Kungeli. Papa e Vitra Matimbara Yeso Christ wana Zareta Papa it's Hamile Emdengenya Wena. Ela kwa tongwina meabula bula na kuto mizaina. Shkemukara sukura maye telelo papa. Yana uya bula bula na kuto mizaina nga ka usama bula bula. Papa yana mia itsuisha. Eko shai wakarito ra wina. Shkomisha matimba yung kwa eti nzumita wina ati eta shika papa. Te aba kuna ba mfundisi. Kwe aba bula bula ba shabutela eritolo. Malo kwe tima. Ela ba kwa tongwina shkemu hiredi. Evite nra matimbara Yeso Christ wana Zareta Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a wonderful evening in the presence of God. Amen. Uh, Jesus. We just want to thank God for yesterday's service. We God for yesterday's service. We can say Shkwembu is service at all. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that even tonight the best is yet to come. Na pumela kuna na muta le school usa arguteen. Best happens for Jesus. I believe in Yesu Maboko. This evening, I just want to talk under this title. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Then the rest shall be added unto you. So do not worry about what you will eat, about what you will wear, about what you will drink, about where you will work, about where your next meal will come from. For the pagans run after all these things. Your father who is at in heaven. Knows that you know you need these things. He knows that you need to wear. He knows that you must work. He knows that you need money. He knows that you need to find things in life. He knows that you want to get married one day and be settled. He knows the car, that kind of a car that you need in your life. So do not worry. So do not worry. So do not worry. For God is aware of your troubles. For God is aware of your needs. What you ought to do is to seek his kingdom. Seek his kingdom. First and foremost, it's all about the kingdom of God. It's all about seeking the kingdom of God. For you were wired to seek the kingdom of God. You were meant to seek the kingdom of God. In all you are seeking in this world, you are supposed to seek the kingdom of God. First and foremost, by seeking the kingdom of God, then God will meet your needs by seeking the kingdom of God God will ensure that the bread and butter issues are supplied to you as well because you have first sought the first things first first things first it is the kingdom of God first things first it is the kingdom of God and his righteousness seek the kingdom seek the kingdom seek the kingdom of God seek the kingdom of God then the rest shall be ended to you. God will ensure that you are now. You don't beg. God will ensure that you are now. 
you get hired. Go to the end show that when your things go smoothly. When you first seek his kingdom. When you first seek his kingdom. That mistake that we do all over the world. Whether rich or poor. Whether black or white. We seek the gifts of God at the expense of the giver. That is the terrible mistake that we may commit. We seek his gifts and not seek the giver. It's high time we seek the giver of the gifts. When you seek the giver of the gifts, he will ensure that he gives you his gifts. And his gifts will satisfy you. His gifts will give you contentment. His gifts will give you peace. His gifts will give you joy. Joy unspeakable in your life. In this world we are living in, there are many kingdoms. There have been some many kingdoms in the past. They tried to annihilate the kingdom of God. There was the Roman kingdom under Nero who hated Christians. He burned some Christians in the fire while they were still alive. Some they were hanged upside down. He killed them. He persecuted them. Trying to annihilate the kingdom of God. But in the kingdom of God, because it's not the kingdom of men, it kept on soldiering on. It kept on going forward. It kept going. It will get going against all odds. The kingdom of God is unstoppable. The kingdom of God is unstoppable. There is no man who can stop the kingdom of God. There is no kingdom that can stop the kingdom of God. There are so many kingdoms in this world. The kingdoms of the Buddhas. The kingdoms of the Muhammad. The kingdoms of the Hindus. These are but some of the kingdoms that are in this world. But Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to submit to you another kingdom. It is a spiritual kingdom. It is a kingdom from above which controls things in the whole universe. That is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who are in the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who have entered the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God will not allow them to become the laughing stock forever. Hey, you are in the right address right in the kingdom of God right where you are in the kingdom of God you are in the right address in the past there was a kingdom called the, the kingdom of the Medes and Persians they were the kingdoms of the Babylonians they passed on but the kingdom of God and the, the, the likes of Daniel it soldiered on it soldiered on from the dark ages to the new testament it soldiers on until Anotomin hallelujah Amen. until after Christ until before, before Christ, Christ the kingdom of God was there it soldiered on it soldiered on until AD after Christ even today even today the kingdom of God is still here they tried to destroy it but it is indestructible it soldiers on it keeps on marching it keeps on marching Blessed are those who follow the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who follow the kingdom of God. For you cannot follow the, the kingdom of God and not be followed by blessings. You, there are blessings attached. When you follow the kingdom of God, blessings will follow you. You may be saying right now, I don't see any blessing for you to do. Keep on following the kingdom. Keep on following the kingdom. Kingdom. Keep on following the king. Jesus. Keep on following the kingdom. Keep on following the Lord of the kingdom. 
fool. They shall be blessings which shall follow you. They shall be blessings which shall overtake you. You will find yourself overtaking even your friends. Don't you worry about to those who have ever taken you right now. Follow the kingdom. Follow the kingdom. Follow the kingdom. It won't disappoint you. Follow the kingdom. It will take you places. Follow the kingdom. It will ensure that your dreams come to pass. It's all about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Where can you see it? The kingdom of God comes on the inside of you. The kingdom of God is for the young and the old. The kingdom of God is for the rich and the poor. The kingdom of God is for the women and the men. The kingdom of God is for the slaves and the masters. The kingdom of God is for everyone. Everyone who believes. Get counted in the kingdom of God. What do you want to be counted in the kingdom of God? What do you want to be counted in the kingdom of God? Hey! When you have received the kingdom of God, there is a guarantee for you to succeed in this life. And not only in this life, and even, even life after. You shall succeed. You shall prosper. You shall see God. You shall appear in heaven. One of the good days. Because of this kingdom, because this kingdom is not the kingdom of the world, if it was the kingdom of this world, it will end here. Hey, we are being prepared for life after. We are being prepared for heaven. We are being prepared for heaven. Sometimes I long for heaven. Oh my God. Man. The kingdom of God. It's all about the kingdom of God. It's all about the kingdom of God. Get counted in the kingdom of God. Become one of the passes in the kingdom of God. Join people who are in the kingdom of God. You will not regret. You will not regret. God. Who is in charge of the, his domain or his kingdom? He will ensure that your needs are met. That's why he's saying, Yeah, hey, don't worry about what you will wear or eat. Oh, what you drink. For I am aware of that. I am aware of that. What you need to do? Six first my kingdom. Six first my kingdom. Make my priority as your priority. And then the soul is somewhere. Make your needs, make my needs to be your needs. And that's how Make what I hate to hate it as well. The kingdom of God first. The kingdom of God first. Oh, glory to Jesus. Let me outline the kingdom of God quickly. Hallelujah. Amen. In the kingdom of God, there is God in his throne. As the king, in the kingdom of God, we use a pin code. There is a pin code which has got five digits. J E S A U S. Jesus. Jesus is our pin code. Yes, so yeah, pin Jesus code. is our pin code. Yes, so pin code. Whatever we need, we cry to the name of Jesus. We go to the name of Jesus and say, Jesus, say, Listen to what Jordan Peter is saying in the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 1. As you read it downwards, and I say, silver and gold we do not have. But what we have give you in the name of Jesus walk and go in the name of Jesus walk and go in the name of Jesus it's our pin code I remember some years back I was coming from uh, Greek Spain during the night driving uh, approaching Murogolozi oh my god while driving there being relaxed. Drive and relax. Driving on the ye is it yellow lane. Look at the driver like a yellow lane. Oh, then a certain car came. Then put a move on one. It hit me. You be without any bar. At the back. Without a bar, move on. My car saved. And move on me. Who ma patwen? And went out. Who ma patwen? I tried to control it, but one thing I did when 
I was hit by that car. I did what I'm used to. I did what I trust in. I said in the name of Jesus. I shouted in the name of Jesus. Then my car, uh, uh, it didn't roll actually. It, it, it drove outside, swept, swept, swept. Until it hit a marula tree and stopped. And where it was heading to, it was a little bridge. There was a bridge for, uh, for the river there. But we couldn't reach there because of that marula tree. The airbag came out. The paramedics came and took us to, to Fanfelden there. Then the paramedic difficulty is I'm trying to tell you about the name of Jesus. When witches come to you during the night, call the name of Jesus. Hey, press the, the pin code, Jesus. Press the pin code, Press the pin code, Jesus. Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. In this kingdom, we are talking about the currency that we use is faith. We use faith in this kingdom. We don't uh, have some, some gimmicks or some mechanical things. We use faith. Faith in Jesus. Jesus who said in John chapter 14 verse 1. Yes, so long I like John 14 verse 1. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in me and in God. Hallelujah. That is our currency. If we want to buy something, if we need something, we use faith. Nothing else. But if faith in God, but if faith in Jesus, in order to access our blessings, in this kingdom we are talking about, the constitution that we use is this book. We use this book. This it, is our constitution. In no way, this is our constitution. constitution. For this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall, you shall meditate way. on it day and night. Day and night. We use our constitution. When we push again, we quote the scriptures. We speak the scriptures. We overcome demons through the scriptures. We overcome challenges through the scriptures. Like Jesus, when you were tempted in the wilderness, you will say it is written. It is written. We frequent our constitution constitution the law that is used in this kingdom it is the law of love it is the law of love so love is the fulfillment of all law in this kingdom it's all about love Jesus said to his disciples I give you a law love one another as I have loved you in this kingdom it's all about about love, loving the poor, loving the unlovable, loving those who hate you, loving those who persecute you. It's all about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. In this kingdom, the culture that is used, the nine fruits of the spirit, the nine fruits of the spirit. Galatians chapter five, verse twenty-two. Galatians chapter five, verse twenty-two. Hey, self-control. Faithfulness, kindness, meekness, righteousness, a joy, and so and peace. This is the culture in the kingdom of God. That is our culture. There is no other culture. The lifestyle of the kingdom of God is prayer, is giving, is fasting. For when you pray, when you fast, when you give, that's what Jesus says in the book of Matthew chapter 6. He doesn't say if you give, if you pray, if you fast. 
If there is no option, it is compulsory. It is our lifestyle. In the kingdom of God, it's all about prayer. In the book of James chapter 5 verse 18, the Bible says, is any among you in trouble? Let him or her pray. Let him or her pray. Because prayer is the lifestyle of the kingdom of God. Hey, Fasting is, a, it is one of the things that is needed in the kingdom of God. Let alone giving. Giving is part and parcel of the kingdom of God. I remember my child was, was sick. He had some symptoms of epilepsy. In 2016, he will just fall. It was in September. He will just fall and some blood will ooze out of his mouth. And sometimes some blood will ooze out, out of his whatever, his forehead. Depending on where he fell. Then I took him to the pediatrician. Then the pediatrician said that uh, these are the symptoms of epilepsy. And there is only one doctor here in Limpompo. Who deals with epilepsy? Should I book you for him? I said yes. So after meeting the, this doctor, pediatrician, and I was moving out of the surgery, the Holy Spirit spoke spoke to me clearly and said, this is a spiritual problem. The condition of your child is a spiritual problem. It's not a medical condition. Therefore, go and fast three days, dry fasting, without drinking water, without eating anything. And pray for your son and see what will happen. I didn't take time. Because when God speaks to me and I'm sure about it, I act quickly. That's one thing about me. I don't delay when God tells me to do something. I embark on three days fasting. Praying for my son. Praying for my son. Praying for my son. On the third day, the last day, I told myself to pray for three hours from 12 until 3. From 12 midnight, I mean to say until 3 in the morning. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed quoting Isaiah 61 verse 7. Which says that you will not suffer shame. I said, Oh God, I am your servant. I am your servant. Don't disappoint me. Don't allow me to be to be ashamed because of the condition of my son. I resisted the situation because whatever you tolerate, you cannot terminate. Then after three hours of praying, I was sweating. It was hot. After all, it was in a corrugated uh, uh, zinc. It was very hot. Then after three hours, the Holy Spirit said, uh, Add two more hours. Ideally resisted. But because the Holy Spirit was me, I needed help. Then I continued, I persisted. Pray. Persisted. Praying for my son. Praying for my son. Hey, God intervened. I called my wife and the son to come to me after prayer. We partook in the Holy Communion. Usually when I, I face some serious difficulties, I pray and fast and partake on Holy Communion. Ah, uh, then we, uh, we uh, I ate that the Holy Communion, seemingly with them, I don't remember very well. But after that, I prayed for my son. I laid my hands upon him. Like he was resisting. Resisting, resisting. resisting as if there are some spirits there. Resisting, resisting, trembling. Then during the course of that day, it didn't fall. It didn't fall. He just trembled. I was told that he was just trembling and a lot of things. Not the following day, no more, day. Follow, no more falling, no more falling, and so on. The third day, no more falling, no more falling. Until today, 
God. Fasting. 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 The lifestyle of the kingdom of God. Oh, Jesus. The underpinning principles of the kingdom of God. The underpinning principles of the kingdom of God. Righteousness. Peace. And joy in the Holy Spirit. These are some of the underlying principles in the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That is the kingdom of God. You cannot call yourself being in the kingdom of God. When you are not righteous before God. Righteousness means right standing with God. You cannot call yourself being in the kingdom of God without having peace on the inside of you. The kingdom of God is all about peace. Why peace? It's because you are carrying the prince of peace on the inside of you. Uh, someone who is in the kingdom of God is ever joyous. Is ever joyous. When the situations are favorable to him or not, he, he or she is ever joyous. Knowing that whatever he or she is facing right now is temporary. Is temporary. Is temporary. But we don't look at the temporary. We look at the invisible. For the invisible is permanent. So we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Hallelujah. In this kingdom of God, the standard in the kingdom of God is very high. Higher standard. There is a higher standard in the kingdom of God which says when you hate someone, you have killed him. When you look at a woman with lustful eyes, you have already slept with her. That is the standard in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus, in the kingdom of God, we don't do tit for tat or revenge. Hallelujah. Amen. You become good even to those who are not good to you. By so doing, you are giving God a chance to fight for you. You are giving God a chance to revenge for you. That is the kingdom of God. There is no room for tit for tat. The cost in the kingdom of God. Before I, I talk about the cost in the kingdom of God, another standard in the kingdom of God is humility. We are not supposed to be like a pikoko. In the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is all about humility. If you cannot be humble like little children, so says Jesus, you will not see the kingdom of God. It's all about humility. In the kingdom of God, when God blesses you as a Christian, when God gives you the blessing blessings of this world which others do not have you remain more humble you remain closer to God more than ever you draw near God more than ever and have the attitude that I don't deserve this oh God who am I to own this oh God you humble yourself you humble yourself humble yourself before the mighty hand of the Lord he will lift you up for God resists the, the proud but he gives grace to the humble more grace upon the humble more grace upon the humble more grace upon the humble more faith upon the humble, more upon the humble. That, is the kingdom of, that is the standard in the kingdom of God in this kingdom of God one of the standards is that one man one wife one man one wife there is no room for polygamy. Polygamy was in the Old Testament. In the kingdom of God, one man, one wife. The standard in the kingdom of God is that as a young person, you are not supposed to sleep with a man or a guy 
before marriage. But in the kingdom of God, that is the kingdom of God, that is the standard in the kingdom of God. For when you sleep with a man or a woman before marriage, the Bible says you don't only sin against God, you even sin against your own bones. That is the standard in the kingdom of God. About the kingdom of God, another thing, the cost in the kingdom of God is to deny yourself and take up your own cross and follow Jesus on a daily basis. Whether life is bitter or not, whether life is sweet or not, you are on a journey of following Jesus. We are not going to follow Jesus when everything is sweet. We are not going to follow Jesus when our fridges are, are full of food only. We follow Jesus even when there is no food in the fridge. We follow Jesus even when we are surrounded by poverty. We follow Jesus even when we are surrounded by sickness and disease. Because that is the cost of the kingdom of God. You have denied yourself. You live a separated life. You come out from groups. You come out from evil. You are a child of God. That is the cause. In the kingdom of God. The weapons in the kingdom of God is being in the spirit. Being in the spirit. But we don't walk by flesh. We walk by the spirit so that you may not gratify the desires of the flesh. Being in the spirit. In the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 10 the Bible says about John the apostle John he says on the lost day I was in the spirit. Then I saw. You cannot be in the spirit and never see. When you are in the spirit, you receive revelations from God. When you are in the spirit, God will show you your true friends and those who are false friends. When you are in the spirit, you will see uh, true Christians in the church and those who are not true Christians. When you are in the spirit, you will see what other people cannot see. It takes one to be in the spirit To walk in the spirit To live in the spirit To experience spiritual things When you are in the spirit Dreams will be a normal Occurrence in your life you shall have dreams. You shall have visions. During the night. When you are in the spirit. And whatever you can see in the dream. Know that you have already defeated it. The devil will always do everything in your power. To make sure that you don't remember what you have dreamt. Get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. Get in the spirit. In the spirit. In the spirit. In the spirit. So that you may remember your dreams. And whenever you see what you, you have your dreams. And see whatever you see. Know that victory is yours. Another weapon. Another weapon. Hallelujah. Another weapon in the kingdom of God. Is praise. Praise. Listen to what King David is saying. In the book of Psalm 119, verse 164. He says, seven times a day. How many times? I kneel down. And praise you, O God, because of your righteous laws. Seven times a day, I don't grumble. Seven times a day, I don't gossip people. Seven times a day, I don't backbite people. Seven times a day, I praise you, O God. For when you pray, you invite God in your situation. But when you praise, you involve God in your situation. There is no way that God cannot be involved in your situation. When you begin to pray, when you begin to praise uh, uh, Paul and Silas in the book of Acts chapter 16 verse 32 37 verse 32, the Bible says uh, during midnight during midnight they rose up and began to pray and began to worship God and began to worship God until the prisoners hated them oh my God 
Something phenomenal happened. Something extraordinary happened. The foundations of the prison were shaken. They are chains he got loose. Until the jailer was, oh, was in trepidation. He threatened to kill himself. God said unto him, Do not harm yourself. For we are still on here. For we are still on here. But he took worship to drink the chains. Whatever chains in your life, if you can dare worship the Lord, they will be broken. Whatever chains in your life, they will be broken. Whatever foundation from your family or household, which is holding your success in your destiny, if you can worship the Lord, spirit from your father's household will let go of you. Some of you are troubled by spirit from your father's you need to be delivered by worship. You You get lost in his presence. You worship him. Worship him in the morning. Worship him in the afternoon. Worship him during midnight. Worship him everywhere. Worship God. Hey. Hey, move from petition to praise with you will see God those chains in your life those stubborn problems in your life will, will, melt. will be broken will be broken will be, broken. Will be surprised that's what happened it will be because of the power of praise let you praise the Lord the Bible says in the book of first 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 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. Chapter Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. In everything, give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord. Whether good or bad or ugly, give thanks unto the Lord. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. That happens for Jesus. I'm talking about the kingdom of God. The mindset of the kingdom of God. The mindset of the kingdom of God is this. Freely you have received so freely give. It's not about money in the kingdom of God. If it was all about money, the kingdom of God would be for the rich only. Jesus says, God has anointed me to proclaim liberty to the poor. The kingdom of, in the kingdom of God is not all about the rich. In the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of of God. It's a matter of freely you have received, so freely give. It is not permitted in the kingdom of God to commercialize the gospel, to sell the gospel. The gospel is free of charge. What is needed is faith in Jesus. When I'm talking like this, there is a certain medical doctor, he's a member in our church now. Medical doctor, one get an He came to me, was it last year? March. March. His practice was suspended. Then he asked me for prayer. Someone referred him to me. Then we prayed. Fasted three days dry fasting. He fasted three or more days. It's only so good. It's only so good that three or more days. Because of his situation, which was critical, the situation was and extremely tough. She tell us to go up. We prayed God intervened. It was March. Then by July, his practice or surgery was lifted. The suspension was lifted. Then he congelated in March. Then in July, Baba Susa suspension there. Is now a member in our church. Listen to this. Why I quote this. When he came to me for the first time, he told me this. He said, Before I came to you, I was referred to go to a certain prophet. Then I went to confront this prophet. I went to see this prophet. 
When I went there and 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 and, and met him, and told him about my case, he said your case is, is too much. Your case is too much. Your case is critical. In order for me to solve it, I need twenty five twenty thousand on the floor. I will allow you to twenty thousand. Then the doctor said, "Just give me a time to go and look for it. I'll go and give it to you." I will then doctor. I will come along with my car and I will have twenty thousand and I will give it. Say he met someone. He told someone about it. Then Abdel, I shall now want Abdel. I'm going to solve. Then that person said, "No, man, no, 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 no. The things of God are not commercialized. I will see the same person. Go and see." Pastor Shivambo, I pray for you. I, that's when he came to me. He first went to the prophet. The prophet said, "I need twenty thousand." Prophet, I want twenty thousand. Hey, the things of God are not for commercialization. Freely you have received, freely give. Now we are going to go and It's in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter ten. If not Mark, chapter ten, this is what I'm talking about. We are not supposed to sell the gospel. We are not supposed to merchandise the gospel. I remember I was told about certain pastors somewhere. I won't say where. Certain pastors. When they are asked to go and bury people, only to find that. In that family, there is no member of theirs. Logo ba rambi wakuru ba kumbero wakuru ba tava tala samulu magura kuna member abo na kwa la muti no longa nkuz. They say I the pansy first. Bago humesan maluk sungu. I the pansy first. Sungu la nime akena. The gospel is not for selling, man. Makai na. Evangel a ishabi siwi. By so saying, I don't mean that we must abuse pastors. Ani rime abuse abafundi. Yes, they pray for you. Hey, bami kongele. They pray for you. That's tough and so on and so on. Bami kongele kara. Remember that you do it willingly, cheerfully, out of your own heart, without being chid or given a price. We what? We what? Can say when we ni mara wanga lo chaji wanga ni wanga price. The kingdom of God. That is the mindset. Freely you have received, freely give. In conclusion, the qualification in the kingdom of God. Water, spirit, and the blood. You need to be water baptized. That's what Jesus told Nicodemus in John chapter three. You must be water baptized. It's very important. You must be born again by the Holy Spirit. You must allow the blood of Jesus to wash your heart. The Bible says, "Listen to me as I close." The Bible says there are three witnesses. The witness of the water. The witness of the spirit and the witness of the blood. These three witnesses they are going to judge us in the final day in heaven. They want to be called before God and say, "Do you know Yvonne? If Yvonne hasn't allowed those three witnesses." In his or in her life, they will say it before God. That Ivone I call a local harem sabiru call a real. Then Ivone will be taken straight to hell. Then Ivone that take was straight on Osha. You need to meet these three witnesses in your life. The blood of Jesus, the water. The Holy Spirit. You must allow them in your life. Shall we rise? Thank you, Jesus.